I don't know if you can see that, but those are some boats out there in Prescott Bay. But yeah, I'm just enjoying myself, relaxing on this cool day, cool summer day out here. But how's everything going, ladies and gentlemen? Hope your day's going well. Mine's, mine's going good right now. Um, Today's topic is actually a video topic I had on the back burn since March. I've, because of school, I didn't have the time to do it, but now I can make this video. And, and my topic is the state of video games, or the state of gaming as a whole. And just my thoughts and how I feel, where is it going for the good or the bad. But I'm just going to tell you a little bit of history about myself. I've been pretty much gaming since I was six years old. And yeah, I, I use that very, very loosely. Because when I was six, I got my first Super Nintendo. I'm, I'm 23 years old, so you can do the math. But yeah, I got my first Super Nintendo. And it was, <laughs> let's just say, I have some good, fond memories. I mean, I've put so many hours into that system, I, I can't even keep count. I end up getting a um, Nintendo 64 for when I was nine years old for Christmas, and it came with the bundle pack with um, Donkey Kong 64 embedded with it, and I put in hours in that system. Then it eventually went to a PlayStation, then a PlayStation 2, and then Xbox, and then Xbox 360 now. So, long story short, I've been gaming since six years old. And I played all, all different genres. I played from the action, from the adventures, to the RPGs, to the sports. I've basically played them all. And I like being, I like playing video games. It's just a hobby. It's, it's a nice little stressful you if you had a rough day at school work whatever just want to take time off it, it's a great hobby but it, it do seem like nowadays it seems like the companies like i don't know ea ubisoft and other companies they seem to be changing the word video games to just it's just entertainment which it is it, i mean video gaming is entertainment right if you go to the arcade places if there's still any around me where i live at sadly it's only up at the movie theaters it used to be in a mall back in the late 90s when i was a, a you know a young boy but not so much anymore but I, I still i still like you know going to the arcades every once in a while but like i said coming back it it feel like they're they're changing the word gamer to like I said it's just as entertainment only it's nothing more because it's funny how we went from 16-bit graphics to full-fledged lifelike graphics with online gameplay like who would think that from the from the 80s it was arcades in the 90s with the home consoles and the 2000s where more home consoles but then you had the ability to go online and play online multiplayer because back in the day your multiplayer was pretty much going to your friend's house you know what i'm saying that, that was your multiplayer right there and while it's still good being a gamer it's still fun. I, I mean, I, I put in so many hours in all my systems. I do feel like it, it has been changing because of DLC, the DRM on on disc lock content, and how it's like these microtransactions. It seems like you're not really getting a full game anymore. It feels like, okay, you pay for this game sixty dollars full price but you're not getting the full package and the only way to get the full package is if you either get the DLC or you just wait for the game of the year edition. It, it's funny because I was talking to one of my good friends and he feels like he doesn't even play video games as much anymore. Like his his little brother does but see yeah his little brother got they both have the Wii U and the Xbox 360, but he tells me, D, don't, I don't even play games anymore. And I tell him, like, yeah, I understand. And it's funny because his little brother got the Wii U, and 
it was like all the games he got for the Xbox 360, like, now mind, he's a kid, so, of course, his parents is not going to let him play Call of Duty, that's number one, and number two, it, it felt like there was, there was not a lot of kid games on both systems, like the PS3 and the 360, it, it feels like they're, they're kind of lacking that, it's like all this, it's either rated T or rated M, and you know what I mean. And so, he's got this Wii U, and he beats all the games in literally a few days. And I used to thought I was a hardcore gamer back in the day. I mean, I was putting in hours beating, like, I don't know, like, Super, I mean, Super Mario Brothers, you know, Metroid. I was putting all those hours, and I was beating them. I mean, of course, Metroid took me a little bit longer. But it's like, it seemed like games now have become, like, events that I said, they became popcorn games now, they're not longevity, it's like, you beat them in a few hours, and what's left, um, multiplayer, that's it, it's not, it's not a game where, okay, I can come back to, I can beat on another difficulty, it's, it's like, that's it, and, I've, uh, I've always played different games than just first person shooters, like, I've had a blast playing both Arkham, Batman Arkham Asylum and Arkham City, both good games, by the way. I played the Uncharted franchise. That, that's another good franchise. Of course, you know, you got football, you got Madden and NBA 2K. That I played them. Um, you know, when I was younger, I was happy when I beat um, Pokemon Blue. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, man, don't, don't even get me started on that. I mean, I've so many hours in that game. It, it, it's, just, it's funny looking back because you still have original title games. You still have, like, games that can keep you occupied for long hours of the day. Like, I, I just I can't see myself playing call of duty 24 7 I, I i don't know how people do it. i can put in a few hours and that is it i'm i'm one of them guys i like to try different things like i said like i was skeptical when i did play batman i was like mm, i don't know it looks good and i'll try it and then when i played it i was like this was a kick-ass game and then when i bought arkham city oh, that was another badass game i was like you know what this, this was good and that's how i am i'm i'm a very, I'm, 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 I, I like different video games, I'll say, but I just feel like now with the new systems coming out, both fanboys, PS1 and PS4 fanboys going, doing it back and forth saying they're both bad, and then you got the PC fanboys coming in, and, and another thing is, I, I do like playing on a PC, but for me, I prefer playing on consoles, I just, I just, I don't know it's weird because even in, at college I get some some of my friends they're asking me yo D why don't you just play Team Fortress on your laptop and I'm like or play League of Legends I'm just like I, I just don't I, I like having that sense of I got a control in my hand I'm not using a mouse and keypad and yes a lot of people tell me yeah you can use your Xbox 360 controller on a PC I know you can but I just I like having the consoles more than PC. Don't get me wrong, I like PC games too. It, 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 it's got some real good games on it, don't get me wrong, but it's just, I, I'm I'm more of a console gamer myself. But like I said, between them doing it out, it just feel like gaming has kind of became what can you afford, what I'm saying. Because remember back in the day when you bought the game, like if your parents got you, like, like me, my mom would give me a games if I did well in school no, that was number one did well in school she would buy me one or she would rent it for me from the video store at, from time to time but it was like back then you did cherish a lot of your games you either got it at Christmas or on your birthday and you was happy with whatever you got I'm, like I said I can't tell you countless times I put into my Super Nintendo and my Nintendo 64 I put in a lot of time in those games and I went over to my other friend's house and you know playing playing like Donkey Kong racing and um, Super Mario Kart and what's that other one I think Mario Party yeah we was playing some a couple other games and then I'll never forget when I played GoldenEye 007 and my mom was skeptical I mean I was older at the time like I said it, I was 10 when I rented that game my mom she was like 
D? I, I don't want you. I don't know. And, and of course, I talked her into it, and she let me play it. And you know, it, it was a fun game for the time. And so now, it's like you got full games back then, but now it's like I said, it's the, the little microtransaction. All I feel like you're not really getting a full game. And then you got these game companies trying to talk down the game and saying you're just a bunch of mom sheep and blah 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 all of this like you gamers are this and that like pretty much i consider video gaming as just a hobby if you treat it as a hobby you'll be fine like there's a lot of just like mindless gamers out there that just take whatever the company sell oh if it's something shiny this is new map pack and call of duty for this new character in this fighting game oh they're all for it, 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 it but it's sad that we have mindless gamers out there but th that's the way the world got you got people that pay attention and you got people that just don't pay attention but in my to, to pretty much wrap this video up video gaming has changed it really has a uh, I mean, who did think we would ever have an online multiplayer? Think about it. Like, we would not have thought of this back in the late 90s, in the early, you know, back in the 90s. No one would have thought of that. But as a whole, gaming has changed. Now, I don't think there's not going to be another crash like in 83. No, no, heaven forbid. It's not going to happen. But I feel like the general public is going to get wiser. And I, and I think they're, they're doing it now. They're getting a lot wiser that we want games that's going to have longevity. None of this popcorn games. None of this, hey, you're going to be in a few days. No, at least something that's going to keep you occupied. So, to my fellow gamers, keep gaming on. And to you mindless zombie gamers, just think about what these companies are getting away with. You, you really got to think about it. Because if all you care about is just your game, then, hey... Uh, I'm, I'm sad to see you even call yourself a person who plays video games because it's for entertainment and it's a hobby only. And hey, as long as I'm on this earth, if, if it so be it, I can play my retro games. I still have my Nintendo 64. I still have my Super Nintendo. I still got my PlayStation 2. I'm 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 good. I got my little game library set up ready to go and, and there'll be them times where I do unhook my PS3 and plug in those old systems you like man it's, it's crazy to think how far we came and that, that that's all I got to say so you know tell me what you guys think you think gaming has gotten better or worse or we, we, we transition to something because I really like to see what, what the game community got to say because this is a, a heated topic and it's, and it's a big one at that. So, that's it. See you later, ladies and gentlemen.